Hello and welcome back to my channel. So to be able to lose weight, we have to stop the all or nothing mentality. The all part of this mentality, eating absolutely perfectly, especially in the beginning of starting a new eating plan, can often take the enjoyment out completely. It's okay to sometimes eat some foods that aren't healthy, but as long as your, your main eating does, um, doesn't include that. As I always say, 90% optimal health foods and 10% can be other. The nothing part of this mentality, of course, is very harmful. If you choose to do this, it means you choose unhealthy all the time. That won't serve you right each day as well as down the line. You'll lack energy, you'll uh, increase your risk so highly for many diseases and so much more. It took me a while to get to a point where I stopped having and following this all or nothing mentality, but I did. And now I have a healthier relationship with food and I'm okay eating healthy for the remaining of the day on days that I eat something that, you know, is not so healthy. So it's just a matter of working your brain to, to get to that. <laughs> Second thing, um, scale mentality. Progress can be found in so many other places. How do you feel? How's your mind? How are you thinking? Like, are you thinking more clearly? Has your focus improved? Are you proud of how you're eating? How does the exercise feel? How's your energy? Are your clothes fitting a bit looser? It, to only be focused on the scale isn't always the best, thing, best way to see if you're making progress. Plus, your main goal should be creating optimal health for yourself. And if you do that, the weight will come off naturally. The third thing, um, carbs and fats are bad. Mm -mm, not necessarily. They are so important. I don't want anyone to be leery or afraid of consuming carbs and fats because you need them, just as long as you're getting them from the right sources. So you want to be consuming healthy fats such as the ones found in um, nuts, seeds, complex carbs such as those in beans and vegetables. Four. Caloric content. You don't always have to focus on calories. Some high calorie foods are so nutrient dense. It's suggested to eat around 1.5 to 2 ounces of nuts and seeds per day. So that amount of calories plus all the other nutrient dense foods will, go, will be completely sufficient each day without counting calories. Number five, skipping meals. Don't do this. It hurts your metabolism. You don't have to skip meals to lose weight. You don't need to punish yourself because you're not happy with how you are. You deserve food no matter what. Your body will wonder why there isn't food coming in when usually there is or even not eating enough can put your body into survival mode and, you, and that will hold on to your weight resulting in no or very little weight loss. Number six, drinking calories. Unless it's nutrient dense foods, drinking your calories is usually drinking something that has very, very little nutrients, but it's so high in calories. So make sure it's not often and make sure each day um, what you put into your body are nutrient dense foods that fuel the proper functioning of your body. Number seven, please stop being so hard on yourself. <laughs> this is a hard task to take on this weight loss thing. Have self-compassion. Know that you are trying and that is amazing. Being hard on yourself will only cause worse things and being hard on yourself in a healthy way is okay, but being negative and insulting yourself is never healthy. You deserve a break. You deserve to not feel bad about yourself. And number eight, remove negative thoughts and replace them with positive thoughts. Your brain can start to believe whatever you consistently tell it, good or bad. So let's make it good. Whenever you notice you're going to call yourself a name or say something bad about yourself, instantly don't and instead replace it with something positive. That way your brain will get, used, get more used to you speaking positively about yourself and the negativity will stop because you do not deserve negativity. It's always a great thing to be your own best friend. Number nine, please uh, stop eating foods you don't like. There are so many combinations of foods to create what you love. Not loving what you're eating is damaging and you won't stick to it as much and most um, of all at the end falling off the wagon. Only eat things you like. I go through this with my students and work with them to develop amazing delicious foods that they can eat that they just love you don't need to eat things you don't love number 10 as well stop doing exercise you don't like don't like running but you love dancing then dance don't like walking but you love swimming then swim same as food if you're if you don't like what you're doing you're not too likely to stick with it no matter what physical activity it is, or, um, it could be bowling, skating, roller skating, parkour, um, rock climbing, or working out at the gym. Movement is movement and just do what you love and you're much more likely to stick with it. So I hope you got something from that video. 
and I'm always here to help you with anything you need. So please, if you want to contact me with any questions or help, my email is hillyfunkyoutube at hotmail.com. My Instagram handle is at hillyfunknutrition, and you can always put a comment in the comments to ask me anything. So thank you for much, so much for watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you, and I hope you have an amazing day.